Samsung Note 10 Lite Charging Board Replacement. We are going to use a hairdryer to heat up the back cover for about 3 minutes. You can also use a heating plate or hot air gun if you have available. Now we are going to use a suction cup and an opening tool to lift up a corner. The back cover is made of plastic and will not break if you work gently. So a light touch and the back cover is off. So this phone doesn't charge and it's completely discharged. This means we can replace the charging board without disconnecting the battery. It's always a good idea to disconnect your battery before connecting or disconnecting other parts. But in this case, I'll make an exception. If your phone has power and the battery is not discharged, please disconnect your phone's battery. So it's not a big deal, just go and get those screws out, disconnect the flex cable and continue the disassembly and replacement process. Here we have the buzzer, the speaker, the loudspeaker, and here we have the charging board. The display is connected to this charging board and also we have the main flex cable and the fingerprint sensor. The charging board is held in place by a Phillips screw and this screw is shorter than the other ones so keep in mind before putting it back. We have the white antenna cable and the blue antenna cable so you need to be very careful with these antenna cables they are so easily damaged. Lift up the charging board gently, get the old charging board aside, get the new charging board in place, charging connector first and headphone jack for the nostalgic so get the board in place connect the fingerprint sensor connect the display get your antenna cable connected like that align the antenna cable in its special groove and connect the main flex cable. Don't forget about the small Phillips screw that goes in here. Before we are going to close this phone, we need to check and see if the charging is working. So after charging for a while it's time to check 
and looks like the phone is charging properly and we can continue let's get the buzzer back in place so this goes here apply pressure you should hear a click and get the screws back in place Okay, now let's see this back cover. We have some areas that are dusty, but some areas are clean. So we couldn't find double sided tape for this phone. And I was hoping to I was hoping to uh, remove this in perfect conditions. It looks like it has been a little bit worn throughout the time. So we are going to do the best we can. So this means a double sided tape over the over the used one so this is a very very thin double sided tape that we are using and it will do the job just fine Cleaning the old double sided tape and um, replacing it totally would have been uh, a better idea or of course the new original one if you can find it's the best idea. So this is This is still a better idea than using liquid glue. I know I will get, get a lot of hate for this, but this would have been more, uh, much more easier. Double sided tape is still a good choice. So I am I am just gonna add a small amount of liquid glue at the corner for extra safety. So it's just a drop <clears throat> 
get this nice and warm so a little bit of hot air Get the back cover in place. And apply pressure on the side. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe. Have a good day!